Hey what's up guys this is the page and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the MI A2 camera in MI A1. Don't worry if you are not rooted user you can still install this application. I will show you complete guide in this video. Now before proceed if you haven't subscribed our channel then subscribe it and also hit the bell icon to get notification of all of future videos. Now if you done that let's get started. Now I want to make one thing clear that you can still use this trick for other devices such as other MI devices and any other devices out there and let me know whether it's work for you or not. I only tested this thing on MI A1. So watch this video till end because I'll also review the camera application after installation. Now for this trick I am using Pixel Experience ROM in my device and here you can see that except Google camera there is no other camera application is installed on my mobile. Now if you already had MI A1 stock camera then first you have to uninstall it. Now if you are in stock room then somehow you have to uninstall the stock camera then you can follow the same guide. For that you can watch any videos or tutorial on internet and once you done with that you can follow the same guide. Now for this video I am going to use the magic manager to install some modules and if you don't want to root your device with Magis Manager, you can just boot your device into TWRP Recovery and flash this model with TWRP Recovery. So as I am going with the Magis method, so first of all you have to install the Magis Manager on your device. So if you don't know how to install it, then you can watch my video from the link in the description. Once you then with that, you have to download this two file from the link in the description of this video. And once you download it, then go to Magis Manager of your device, then swipe from the left, you will get a module option, then click on this module and then click on this hamburger icon now here first file that you have to flash is mi a2 camera don't flash mi a1 supported camera first first thing that you have to flash the mi a2 camera itself once it flash just simply click on reboot once the mobile rebooted if you try to open this uh, newly installed camera then you may see that it's not opening or it will give you some kind of error. So the first thing that you have to do you just have to go to permission then enable all the permission manually. So once you are done with that if you try to open again this camera it will open. But here there is no AI mode available or no ported option is available. So you have to flash one more Magisk module. Now close this application, go to Magisk, go to modules, then click on this hamburger icon and this time now select ported MI A2 camera for MI A1 Magisk module. So once it's done, just simply click on reboot again. Now once the device is restarted, open this camera again and here you will get a AI camera and you will also get the portrait mode in it. But sadly portrait mode is not working with the front camera but seems to be working with the rear camera. Now here at the bottom you will have the portrait mode option and some other option also. I am gonna review everything so watch this video continue. Now here let me show you some sample shot capture with this portrait mode. Now this sword is captured with the rear camera not with the front camera and the portrait mode is working fine with the back camera of your device but not seems to be working fine with the front camera. But in your case if this portrait option is still not working or not giving you a portrait sword then you might have to enable the camera to API. For that go to Magis, go to download and search for camera to API enabler and just install this module and reboot your device and that's it. You can do the same thing just by adding two lines of command from the TWRP recovery. The guide is very simple, I'll add the code in the description. You just have to boot your device in TWRP recovery and just open ADV cell and just paste this command. And it will open the camera to API. Now once you're done with that, you can open your camera again and you can see the portrait mode should work. Everything is working fine with this camera application except front portrait mode. So I hope a great developer will come across it and mod this camera for uh, my A1 and make the front portrait work. And everything is working fine as I say. Here you can capture with the front photo and here you have some filter shot in it. 
you can also record video in 4k there is option available in it you can also have control over the beautify value and some other advanced option also in it and if you talk about the video recording you can record in 4k and there is also option that is short video so you can record of short video also with this camera application which may be up to 10 to 12 second and uh, if you talk about the settings menu here you have the 4k recording option time lapse interval option and some other things and here at the video recording option at the top you have also slow recording and time lapse option which is working fine no bugs at all and uh, except this everything is working fine here we have a square mode or the panorama mode and manual mode is also working so guys this is all about this camera application and if you have any doubt or if you have any problem during installation then you can ask me in the comment box i will definitely help you and here are the some sample shots that you can see that is captured with the rear camera without ai and with ai and the next one is a front camera shot without ai which is also not having a portrait mode in uh, the portrait mode actually not working in front camera and here the rear camera shot with the portrait mode and portrait mode is working fine and this all the shot taken in indoor lighting condition and this video is definitely deserve like from you because this video is first kind of video about this trick on youtube so if you like it it will motivate me to keep making videos like this and don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon to get notification on all my future videos and if you haven't followed me on my social media then you can follow me on my social account from the link in the description for instant update and this is the page signing out meet you soon in next video